Yes, to all of our new viewers, welcome to the family. Speaking of fam, y'all make some noise for my brothers, my band, for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, how y'all feeling? Hey, I'm feeling I, good. Woo. I am very tall. I am standing very tall and very cautiously this way. Listen, today we have a very special guest joining us, a celebrity baker who has made a name for himself in the world of baking. We'll be talking about all things bakery with our guest, from his inspirations to his tips and tricks for creating delicious treats. So whether you're a seasoned baker or a newbie in the kitchen, y'all get ready to indulge your sweet tooth and learn from the best. So sit back, relax, and let's get this show on. Let's get it started. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh. Let's sit down, y'all, and talk a little bit. So our guest today is an amazing celebrity baker who has taken the culinary world by storm. This talented individual has wowed audiences with his creative and delicious baked goods, earning a reputation as one of the most innovative and sought after bakers in the industry. And he continues to inspire and delight people around the world with his creations. So without further ado, y'all please join me and welcoming the incredible Jeremy Jones! Introduction. When I tell you, you've been doing the dang thing. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to the Lavender Couch. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to have you. So we just want to talk to you real quick because I know there are a lot of bakers or wannabe bakers out there that's dying to hear from you. So what inspired you to become a baker and how did you get your start in this industry? Uh, funny thing. A bad relationship. Really? Yeah. That'll do it every time. I went through a bad relationship. Uh, it was a bad breakup. Mm -hmm. I actually uh, went through a series where I tried to commit suicide. Oh, no. And that was my, uh, I guess it was my awakening. A mm -hmm. friend brought me a cake decorating kit, and it started from there. Really? Everything so it was from, from therapy, there. like therapeutic for you. It was my therapy. Wow. 15 That's amazing. years ago this month. Really? This month is my anniversary. Well, congratulations to turning lemons into lemonade. Yes. How about that? So what is your signature dish or, I mean, do you call them dishes well, in baking? Not, really. not well, really, right? Some people do. They have a dishes. Uh, my signature niche is, uh, I would say, floral cakes. That's Ooh. my thing. Uh, I love doing cakes that have, I love fresh flowers. So uh -huh. That's my thing. I love incorporating flowers into cakes. That's beautiful. So what did you get, like, when you create with fresh flowers, what are your favorite flowers to go Roses. to? Roses. Roses? Is there any particular color that white. you are drawn to? Really? White. I love white roses. Wow. I just think they're pure, they're beautiful. It's just it's something about them. It's just something about the purity of the oh, white yes, roses. Yes. So how Everything do you say? Everything that we're not. <laughs> Everything that we're not. Well, let's just be frank right about now. It's so true, right? Yeah. It's so true. Imperfect. We are perfectly imperfect. That's it. I love that. So how do you stay creative, Jeremy, in your bacon? And where do you draw inspirations for new recipes? Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Uh, so Come on, y'all. Just, just for the artistry alone. So oh. many different things. I, I take inspiration from so many different things. Uh, I remember one time I was in a store and I seen a pillow and uh -huh. that inspired a design for a cake. Really? Uh, so it, it's just different things. So anything can anything just, just spark just your Anything spark your creative spirit. That's amazing. So can you share any tips or tricks for novice bakers looking to improve their skills in baking? You have to practice. <gasps> you have to practice. Yes. Uh, that's like the biggest thing. Uh, you have to continue to work on your craft. And How that's do you do this? Thing. This is amazing. It's actually a tip uh, that's meant for something else, and I ended up just putting it on a cake one day, and it worked, and it's been really? my signature thing now. When I tell you that is definitely, you need to trademark that. <laughs> Have you trademarked that nah, already? No, I need to. <laughs> Don't y'all even try. It's already trademarked on it TV. It ain't going to look it's like his. that. <laughs> it won't look like yours. So you have a book as well, right? Yes, from Tell Home us to about Bakery. Yeah. Your book. Yeah, it's, uh, my book is From Home to Bakery, and it talked about my journey from going from a home baker to actually opening a brick-and-mortar bakery. So it gives people tips um, and inspiration on how I went through. I failed my inspection, the city inspection, 11 times. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, 11. They didn't want me in, this, in the area that I was in. I'm from Mississippi, so I'm a country boy, Come and on. I was in an area where we weren't supposed to be. Wow. And uh, I opened my bakery there, and I was the first 
and only black male bakery owner in the state of Mississippi. Wow. I mean, that's something to be said. Look at you now. You are booked and busy. I am busy. Talk about the booked and busy. <laughs> I'm busy. Look at this. This is booked and busy, y'all. Come on. My goodness. Yeah, I actually so have So from one own. therapy yeah, cake just, to a whole... To something else, yeah. So we ship out all over the world. Uh, we ship... I have my signature buttercream, which is the icing that's on the cakes that we use on the cakes. We ship it all over the world with a host of other bakery products. So. Wow, that's amazing. So what do you consider to be the biggest challenge facing the bacon, baking industry today? And how do you see it evolving in the future? Uh, I would have to say it's probably originality. Everybody mm. wants to be like somebody else. And uh, God made us individually who we are. So stop trying to be like somebody else and just be yourself. You just said a mindful <laughs> right there. That's a whole mindful, and, not a and mouthful. That's, that's really how I pretty much stay relevant. I'm just myself. Mm. If you catch me on a live, I'm not sugarcoating anything I uh, ain't no censorship on my lives. Mm -hmm. I just speak directly from the heart. I'm learning that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all learning how transparent he is right now? And it's so important. Originality is everything. Yes, Not is. to be a bandwagon person, but be what God Stop created to you to be. Stop trying to follow trends and mm -hmm. be the trend. It's Come on. Y'all heard it. I don't need to repeat that. So how do you balance the demands of running a successful bakery business with your personal life and other interests that you may have? Incorporating both together. Um, I, I find it so important. Uh, my fiance, he helps me with everything I do. And, and being able to do that together is like a big thing for me. Because if you don't have that support system behind That's so you, true. it ain't going to work. It does not. There's too many people that love what they do, but they don't have the support behind them. And I've just been blessed to have that support system. And that means everything. Everything to With me. that being said, we're going to take a short break. And we'll be right back. We're with the KK, y'all. Hey! To the Cassandra Show, it is time for one of my favorite segments on the show. It's now time for five o'clock somewhere, but also it's time for our Find Your Voice segment. I'm here with my sister's keeper leader, Miss Stacy Gray, to discuss what is happening in schools today. With her being involved with students and children on a daily basis, we thought we'd get some insight from her. Hello there, Miss Gray. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Yes, you are good. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have you here today. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. So would you tell us briefly a little bit about My Sister's Keeper, and then we want to talk to you about what you do to help these girls stay in line with the trauma and tragedies that are going on with mass shootings. So My Sister's Keeper is a group for young ladies in high school. Mm -hmm. Our girls attend Jones High School, and they're a part of Paramore Kids Zone, Holden Heights Kids Zone. And we started this group to help engage with young girls, teach them how to be women, prepare them for womanhood, and expose them to experiences that they've never had before. And you all are doing just that. I am such a huge fan of PKZ. Um, and one of the crazy things that you may have to deal with, especially after yesterday, the shooting in Nashville, Tennessee, um, we want to ask questions. How do you address the issue of school shootings, and what strategies do you use to help students cope with the fear and anxiety that these tragedies can create? Um, I think just having open dialogue with our kids all the time, mm -hmm. letting them know that these kind of things do happen and can happen, and that nobody's untouchable. It's so this true. This has happened. This happened at a private school the other day, and you think you send your kids to private school and they're going to be safe and sheltered from, you know, some of the things that the world has for them. But no, it's happening everywhere. It's so happening everywhere. We just have to prepare our kids, teach them that we're here to support them, mm -hmm. and then teach them what they need to do to be safe. Exactly. And there's definitely some things that we need to do. And I'm sure the school teaches them as well, like procedures to do one once something like that starts to happen. Mm -hmm. um, what signs should teachers and parents be looking for in students who may be struggling to process a recent school shooting and how can we be best supportive to those who are affected? Um, I think you have to pay attention to the kids. Mm -hmm. In my line of work, we have to look at what they're dealing with. We have to focus on has their behavior changed? Mm -hmm. Are they 
doing bad in school? Mm -hmm. Has their grades Grades changed? changed. Yes, mm -hmm. if you notice changes that are extreme for mm -hmm. that child, then they may be dealing with something and that's the time you need to buckle down and ask them questions, exactly. see if they're okay, and provide the support that they may need. That is so true. So along with that, parents, I think you touched on two things. That's grades, behavior, and would you also consider attendance to be an impactful thing that would affect them that from could. school shootings? That so you're be. watching attendance as well. If mm -hmm. a student starts to not appear in school, then you need to be a little bit more engaged with them. Exactly, because yes. clearly there's something wrong. That is so true. Um, in the aftermath of a school shooting, how do you work to create a safe and supportive environment for your students? And what resources are available to help you with talking to My Sister's Keeper? So at our location, we actually have an on-site licensed clinical so social worker. Excellent. And she is there to provide so, uh, resources anytime any of our kids have any problems. So we can always refer kids out to her. But then we also, as group leaders, try to make sure we build those relationships with our girls, that they know that they're here, that we're here for them. They can always come to us. We can talk to them about things. So we try to support them in that way. Let them know it's an open door. If you have any issues, if you see something, say something, yes. bring it to us, and we will try our best to help them. That's amazing. That's very powerful. It has been such an honor again to sit here and chat with you. We're going to take a short break. Y'all, please show your love once again for Miss Stacy Gray from My Sister's Keeper. to the Cassandra Show. Y'all, I am bookended by chefs. This is the best day of my life because I love food. Now, we've been teasing you and tempting you with pictures of our bakery chef, uh, Jeremy Jones, and now we have these amazing desserts. Now, y'all know it's Wednesday, and we normally have Chef Terrell here, so he's here, but he ain't cooking today. <laughs> hey, Chef. How you doing? How you I'm doing? I'm fantastic. Are you ready to do the I tasting so, with me? I am so, so excited. Like, I, I can't wait. All right. We cannot wait either. Uh, Chef, would you please tell us about these delicate, sure. sweet, so, uh, here almost we have shouldn't be the, eating these desserts? Hey, you're going to be all over you. <laughs> <laughs> you got your strawberry lemonade cupcake. Mm. We have apple pie. Ooh. And then we have a strawberry shortcake. My goodness. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So we have strawberry lemon. Strawberry lemonade. We Strawberry lemonade, yes. y'all. And then we have apple pie. Apple pie. Now, this tastes like grandma apple pie. That's, that's grandma. We that's love it. Right there. Mississippi, that's where the M.I. crooked letter, crooked letter, letter, crooked letter, crooked letter, crooked letter, hump back, hump back. That's it. You know. Y'all don't know nothing about that, do you? It's Mississippi. And then this one is the it's strawberry, strawberry shortcake. shortcake. All right, so why don't I go into the center and you, gentlemen, are you tasting with us today? I think I can. Go ahead and taste it. Yes? Okay, so this. I'm going to taste one of these. Strawberry shortcake. And then, oh yeah, yeah I'll take let's the go. Y'all, these are big too. Mm. These are jumbo cupcakes. These are jumbo. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, there's whipped cream. Mm. What is it called? This Not whipped cream. Is, this is buttercream. Buttercream. This, butter this is my buttercream. It's his buttercream. <laughs> this is the strawberry buttercream. Mm. I think. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm. God. Wow. Mm. 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 That's mm. good. Mm. I need to talk. <laughs> right I need to talk that to the people. So Hold on. That's good, and I made it. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, so oh my good. goodness, I'm gonna put this down for now, but the mm. buttercream, the buttercream, y'all. <laughs> y'all, that's it for today. I need to go so we can eat this cupcake, but we have enjoyed y'all hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed our discussion with our celebrity baker guest and learned some great tips and tricks for creating delicious treats in the kitchen. Y'all remember, baking can be fun and rewarding hobby that allows you to express your creativity some therapy, and share your love of food with others. So why not try out some of the tips and recipes we talked about today and see what kind of delicious creations you can come up with. Until next time, y'all keep baking and stay motivated. Thank you, Chef Terrell. Chris, go! The skin that you are cold at the bottom of your screen. Why? Because we got way more exclusive content for you right here on the Sassandra Show. Only on Afro TV, Comcast Xfinity, Channel 1623, and Roku!
Don't drop everything at work. Listen, speaking of fire, John.